got my number, so make sure you call me. Oh, I'll definitely get a hold of you. Unfortunately, the courts are giving him the benefit of the doubt of not working right now. I do not find that he has the ability to pay for the children at this time. But he's working under the table like he always does. He lied to the court. People see him at job sites all of the time. Yeah, a lot of these deadbeats do work under the table. Unfortunately, the sad reality is that the courts make a single parent pay even more money they don't have to hire a private investigator to prove the other parent is working and put it in a damn report. But how can the court expect a single mom to come up with the money to hire a private investigator when she can't even afford to pay for the groceries because the other parent refuses to help pay for their children? I'm the one who takes on the responsibility to provide for the children. Well, he gets away with depriving them. And the courts let him. I don't get it. This is one of those problems that's becoming all too common in the courts today. I simply don't make enough money to pay for all the children's needs and the medication without the child support. I wish the powers that be would stop playing politics and do the right thing. You and me both. I mean, who can you rely on to set things right if your own court system fails you and your children? And you know, the best part, there ain't a damn thing anybody can do about it. Family court is such a joke. Today, it was just a big waste of everybody's time. That bitch ex-wife of yours don't know who she's messing with, baby. She thinks she can scare me with some fancy pants attorney and the law behind her? <laughs> they can't touch me. She can't prove I'm working. Wah! I can't pay for the kids' groceries. Wah! They can't pay for their doctor's appointments. Ain't that a fucking bitch? If she wanted to have the goddamn kids, she can pay for them. They're stuck living in the slums with food stands while we're living it up here. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Look what I made today. Contracting is easy to pull off under the table. And those motherfuckers aren't gonna see a dime. Kayla saw a little Jack today at school, and his sneakers were so worn that all the kids were picking on him in gym class because his mommy couldn't buy him new shoes. <laughs> I love it! I mean, it's all her fault. If she could have just accepted that you and I were having an affair, she could have avoided all this. But no, she wanted a divorce. She wanted respect. Well, guess what? Now she's getting exactly what she deserves. Jamie! Did you ask Daddy if it was okay to get a drink? Jamie! Your father is talking to you! He's not my father. You don't disrespect me in my house, you little bitch! Or I'll give you another bitch slap! It's not your house, Jack. My dad paid for this house. Your dad? Your dad? Your dad's a crippled little bitch just like you're gonna be if I hear one more word out of your mouth! I'm going to aunties. I can't take any more of this. That little bitch needs to learn some fucking respect. Thanks to you, she's finally getting the discipline that she deserves. I wish it was you and me, baby. You and me on an island with all the drinks we can handle. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we may as well get that cripple's child support payments for the little delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, Katie, has anybody ever told you that Jack here has a wandering eye? You're that woman Judith from the courthouse. What the hell is going on? Who's Judith from the courthouse? What's the matter, Jack? Did you forget to tell Katie that you gave me your number? She could have got my card from anywhere. Hey! 
That's your personal number. She, she, um, she needed me to fix something. Oh, I do need you to fix something, all right. But first, your pathetic little wife. Hey, Katie, how did you ever get involved in a scumbag like Jack? Oh, let me guess. He sweet talks little games straight into your precious little heart. Told you that you were the most beautiful woman in the whole entire world, and that he couldn't bear to live without you. Told you how much he loved kids. Blessed with the ability to have children, and you just take it for granted. I was robbed of that ability, you know, when I was just a teenager at camp. That doesn't stop me from taking care of children. Jack! Do something, baby! Wow, you're even dumber than you look. Most women could pick up on those classic con man lines from about a mile away. But not you, Katie. Oh, no, not you. You're too ignorant to notice what's going on right before your very own eyes. Why won't you just listen to me? Just stop making up stories, Jamie! Oh. Oh, Jack is right. You're just saying this shit because you want more attention. Oh, what's the matter, sweetie? The truth too hard to swallow? Is that why you let this deadbeat abuse your innocent daughter? Afraid that this great catch of yours will leave you for someone else if you don't go along with his every little whim? Is that why you let this pig abuse your own child? Fuck you, bitch! Bitches like you make me sick. Mom, I really need to talk to you. Let's just see if anybody comes to your rescue when you need them most. Let's see if anybody sees you from this. Don't worry, Katie. You never listen to anyway. Certainly not when your daughter asks for help. What good are ears if you're not going to use them to listen?
So you can play your little games with the court, and you can lie to the police all you want. But sooner or later, you gotta pay the pipe. And guess what, Jack? It's time to collect. What do you want? Money? Fine! Take it! There! I have a safety deposit box! I can get you more! Just tell me what you want! <laughs> it is way too late for that now, Jack. Where was that money when little Jack needed it for a new asthma inhaler? He had three bad asthma attacks that nearly killed him. He cried and he struggled to breathe. Why you laughed? Why your ex-wife slaved away at her minimum wage waitressing job so that she could put a roof over his head and give him food to eat. Oh well. That was my lady's responsibility! She has custody! She told you time and time again that she needed money for his medicine. And you laughed about it. She told you that after paying the rent, she didn't have another cent to her name. And that very same night, you went to the casinos and dropped a couple of grand. You deprived your son. And you laughed about it. Well, I needed that money for my Caribbean cruise. And a casino. And cigarettes. They're not cheap, you know. I wonder how that felt. Struggling to breathe. Dying because your father refused to help pay for your medicine. Or how Jamie felt. When you're showering. Where's daddy's little cutie? You got no proof, bitch! <laughs> Besides, she wanted it. About as bad as you want this! Government, who allows assholes like you to get away with it for way too long.